What's up guys, let's go over some Ezekiel Domination. For the first setup here, we're going to take a cross face and use the back of our head on the top of our opponent's head. So we use the back of our head and we're going to push on our opponent's temple, opening their jaw up. And then you slide the Ezekiel choke in. I don't want to just lace the Ezekiel and have them tuck their chin and now we're fighting this battle. So I throw in a deep cross face, I try to throw my shoulder onto their chest first and then lift it up and then I use my shoulder and my head to pry and pin their head open. So my shoulder drops onto their chest and then the back of my head pries their neck open. I lace the Ezekiel choke, send it to the far side, and then we extend for the finish. The second one here I'm going to call the Crimson Chin. You use the very point of your chin on the side of your opponent's face, right on their jawline, right where their teeth connect to their muscles in their jaw. So we use the center of our chin, we use our cross face, and now I turn my chin into my opponent's cheek on the side of their face, hold their neck open until we can lace that Ezekiel choke. Now for the two arm in Ezekiels, the first one we try to do the head and arm choke, and maybe our opponent's just real big and strong, maybe they're answering the phone and we can't finish. So I post on my outside hand and foot, I drive my opponent up onto their side, I shoot my arm into my own sleeve, and then I draw it across the neck, and I extend for the finish. Guys, important detail on this one, I can't lace it with them flat on their back. So once I have good side pressure onto their tricep, I need to post my outside hand and leg and drive them up onto their side. Now I can lace the arm in Ezekiel, go inside my own gi, and sneak it in front of their neck and extend for the finish. The last one is the arm in Ezekiel off the back. I take my seatbelt and I connect my hands in an S grip and I pull my bottom hand up high next to my opponent's neck. We dig inside our own gi, other side of the neck, and for this one, we walk our legs up the body until we can cross them, and then we get our finish. So I don't like to do the regular seatbelt for this one because I like to hide my fingers as they grab the fingers with a choking hand, so I connect an S grip or a chain grip. I run the chain so the underhook is high by the neck, I go inside my own gi, and I walk the legs up until I cross the ankles and I extend my legs for the finish. Again guys, this was a request video. Till next time. Let's get it.